So I had been looking forward to this beta for a long time. I actually played the A-Day demo when that was out at some of the game conventions. I think it was last year already. But I really loved this demo, playing as the main Avenger characters. And I wanted to see what else the beta actually had to offer us. So first of all, it was good to replay this part of the story, playing as our favourite characters and just remembering how it actually felt because some of them that I thought I originally would really have liked, it kind of swapped it around a little bit. So Thor, I thought some of the video cutscenes here were incredible and I really like Thor as a character. However, I just think, when I think of Thor, I think of a really, really powerful Avenger. And I think some of the problems that we've got with this game is the fact that all the different characters are going to need to play against the same characters. Whether it's robots or blokes in suits, where it comes to the different characters and their abilities, whether it's Thor, Iron Man or Hulk or Black Widow, it's going to need to be balanced. And I just feel that Thor should feel a lot more powerful than this. I mean, look at these kind of moves he's pulling off. And it, you kind of just dent their health a little bit. You, you take so many hits to knock them back. But I suppose we need a balanced game. And, you know, if they've got a strong exosuit on, it probably would take a few hits to knock them out. But anyway, Iron Man is one of my favourite Avengers. And I really love this. I really love this part in the game. Um, I loved having the in-flight sequences, trying to shoot them with the hand blasters. I think that worked really, really well. And graphically, this just, it looks like it should be on PS5. I mean, one thing to note, my PS4 Pro was absolutely sounding like it was taking off, just like that explosion there. Um, it is pushing the PS4 to the max. Whether it can actually handle this game or it's going to brick some people's consoles, I don't yet know. But I really love this. Maybe, maybe Iron Man again feels a little bit underpowered. I mean, he's got some good moves up his arsenal, but I guess you are playing in other people like with, with really strong exosuits and that as well. But it is going to play as part of a balanced game, but I just kind of feel that I wanted the battle here to feel a little bit faster and a little bit more intense with Iron Man. But I really enjoyed playing with him as a character. And I felt actually the, the, the part that we got to play as for some of the characters in the beta and in this demo section was a little bit short. I would have liked the gameplay to be a little bit longer to actually really get a feel of the character. But this A-Day section is kind of just like an intro to introduce the story and to give you a feel of some of the characters before the game actually begins. So you've got to be pretty precise with some of those shots. They were quite hard to hit them all. But um, it was cool, it was cool. And I think, although the, the battle does feel pretty basic and button bashy, there are a lot of special moves and, you know, you do have to aim some of those shots. Um, so a character like the Hulk, I've never really been a massive Hulk fan, but straight away I felt the power of the big green guy here. Um, again, it's a quite a, a lot of hits to do damage to them, but this section of the game is incredible. I just, I do love the power that you feel. And when you get to kind of just charge along and leap from one section to the next, I mean, those power smashes, they do feel good, let's be honest. It felt good to be the Hulk in this. I think, I think they've designed and, and put in this gameplay really, really well. But I think nothing feels better than on these speed sections when you're just charging down, jumping off of things, smashing things down into the ground. And I really like that. Although I have to say, from what I've played so far, this section playing as the Hulk was the most enjoyable. So we'll see some other gameplay later on where it switches up after this A-Day event. And it's just, ah, I don't know, it can be a lot of button bashing, a lot of pushing square and triangle. Whereas this had the variety of having the dashes and the jumps and the smashes. And you feel powerful, you really feel as the Hulk in this. I really, really, really like this. And I'm still, I'm still not sure from what I've seen in this beta whether I'm going to enjoy the full game that it's going to be. But this is a demo. This is really cool. Like, I can't deny I really, really like this. Just, oh, I just love it. The graphics is amazing as well. And if, if all of the game played out like this, I'd, I'd be really happy. But we've seen some pros in this so far. We are going to see some of my cons later and some of the things that I think don't work quite so well. So Captain America, this section again was quite short. Um, 
it felt good to play as the cap. I like his moves, the way he jumps around a lot, and then you can throw out the shield for some of these specials. I think that works really, really well and gives a good balance between up close combat and ranged combat as well. And obviously, it's cool to be able to shield. I think that will be really good in gameplay as well. But th you know, this section's short, and we actually were playing this a lot post A Day in the main game. I don't know actually how. Captain America is going to fit back into the story. I think where we kind of go towards the, the multiplayer sections, you're going to kind of probably be able to pull in any of the Avenger characters. Black Widow is a character that I was not sure how that was going to play as. And I have to say, I'm really pleasantly surprised. Um, this, this section is just incredible um, graphically and, ha and having to do the timed button presses to uh, progress the cutscene forward. Um, Black Widow, I thought, was going to feel the weakest character, but actually, like, kudos, the, the way that she fights and shoots, and some of these epic scenes that they put in here to the gameplay as well, really makes her a really cool character, and it was one of the things that really surprised me. You might remember if you saw back to my original playthrough of this demo when I did play it at a game convention, that I did call out at the time, Black Widow, I thought, was awesome. So this fight with the Taskmaster is so amazing. Um, it really, really does a lot for the character and just kind of shows that, like, yeah, Black Widow can handle herself up there with all the really super abilityed Avengers. And I think maybe that is where some of the gameplay for me is going to struggle a little bit because, you know, we're going to need to be able to use Black Widow to take on someone in the same way that the Hulk would. And in reality, that's, that's just not real. It's, it's not going to be like that at all. You can't have a really powerful character against another character with sort of like fighting and gun abilities and kind of compare them because they're just very different characters but they can still all be cool all the same. So some of these later sections, um, th this section was pretty good playing with the Hulk. I kind of enjoyed this bit although I did find playing it on normal mode was very difficult. Um, you get very overwhelmed. I had to put it down to easy for my test play. Um, but it takes a while to learn actually that you do have a depleting health bar and you do have to use his rage ability to inflict more damage and recharge your health or actually to collect the health canisters. You can find your game over very quickly otherwise. Um, this robot battle was really really cool and I did enjoy this. There's other sections in the beta which you'd see if you play it for yourself where there's a bit where you're scaling up a building and to be honest it re I actually got bored. I'm going to say it, I got bored just constantly pressing square and triangle, trying to climb up, getting swarmed by different rooms of enemies. Um, if, if a lot of their game is going to be like that, it's, it's not really for me. Like I like the balance that the A-Day section has at the start, and then I don't know, and it might be for me if I play as the right character or as my favourite character, and let's see what happens when they bring in Spider-Man. But you know, this game is very early days, and that's what I've got to remember, so I'm going to try to take away the good points the points and things that I liked from it and just keep an eye on the game and see what happens because at one point I almost put my controller down and there's so much more to come on this we don't still know how the final game is going to turn out so um, I'm just going to take away these parts of the battles that I did enjoy forget some of the repetitive sections and just see how it actually turns out when the game is released. So one thing that was really cool, this is the first time I actually have played as Kamala Khan because she wasn't in the A-Day section, this is actually playing post A-Day and it was good to actually get hands on. Uh, I think for some people if they're not playing it on PlayStation, this is probably as good as you're going to be able to get to playing it as a character like Spider-Man unfortunately, like what is that all about? I'm not liking this whole locked character, locked DLC, locked skins type thing, but at least as I played this beta it should unlock one set of skins for the game, but I just think Luckily, I'm not one of these people that really has to have everything and is really too bothered about skins being locked and exclusivity. I mean, it's one way for the companies to really, really make money and do brand deals with lots of different products to lock the skins behind those products. So like, don't get me wrong, they've got to make their money and that enables them to make the games really good. But this character has got a lot of promise and it actually surprised me how much I really, really like playing as Ms. Khan. I like all the different arm combos, the fact that she can grab and swing, and when you unlock them it takes a while in this gameplay for them to charge up, but some of the special abilities, the fist slam, 
the health recharge, and the fact that you'll see at the end, you can go supersized, and that is really cool, like, it is cool. But I think there's only, there's only so many times fist pounding rims of enemies is gonna keep my attention, but I like what I've seen so far. I kind of thought I might be playing this for the whole beta weekend, but I've kind of played all afternoon to play through and to get my gameplay for this. And I, I think personally I've seen enough of the game already, which isn't a good sign. Um, I think for me I'm going to be keeping my ears peeled to the news. Look at that for a fist slam. See what happens with it and hopefully there will be a lot of good stuff that comes out that surprises me, keeps me tuned in and engaged and wanting to know more about the game before release. So after playing some of this single player campaign content, you actually then get to jump in online where other players can join you as well. So I was playing this where someone playing as the Hulk joined with me and I just find this gives me a taste of what some of the game is going to be like. You're kind of having other characters spawning in and they might be really good, they might be absolutely useless and I just found you're dropped in a massive open area, you've got loads of distance to travel and you're kind of stuck playing with other characters where I found personally I just needed to constantly be reviving them because they either didn't know what they were doing or played very, very badly at the game. So here, you know, I had to finish this whole section and was getting overwhelmed myself. But um, I just wanted to charge up the bar to go supersize me to really, really just smash them about for as much as I can. And you're about to see that in a moment. It's just about to charge up. I couldn't revive the Hulk unless I'm missing something, but I've got my supersize ability here. So I'm gonna wipe the floor with them and just enjoy that. But I've enjoyed my time with this beta, guys. What do you think? Have you played it? Have you enjoyed it? What are your thoughts? Are you getting the game? Are you gonna sit back and just watch and wait and see what happens? Let me know down in the comments. I'd like to hear from you as always. I hope you've enjoyed this gameplay. There's a super-sized Kamala Khan. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Yes, mate. Yes, mate.